Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mary. And if this is your first time here, welcome. This channel is all about leveling up together in the areas of career, finance, and self, I guess. So just hit the subscribe button so you can already be checking out all the amazing content I have for you. So today's topic is one that I feel a lot of people, or oh, actually all, all my videos I say that I feel a lot of people are feeling this, but really I do believe that this area affects a lot of people, especially in terms of leveling up, because you know that this channel is all about leveling up, being better in various areas, but it's really hard to level up when you have toxic people around you, when you have toxic friends around you. So stick around to the end as I talk about one, who and what are the toxic people and what type of situations that could be, and two, how you can cut them out of your life so you can level up in peace. So firstly, when you think of a toxic friend or a toxic person, usually you think like, oh, I don't have that kind of friend like oh I don't know anybody like that and truthfully I will say that I've been pretty lucky that I've never had a toxic friend friend in my life but I have had toxic figures around me um yeah like actually around me that I just had to deal with and I realized that it can't only be me who has had toxic people around them you know lots I hear lots of stories how they uh like anybody could have a toxic friend a toxic family member a toxic co-worker that just kind of you know brings them down so <laughs> brings them down my mom says that <laughs> yeah brings them down so I wanted to just uh, kind of address that firstly what is a toxic friend or what is a toxic person I would say they're various scenarios of how a toxic person can act around you or what a toxic friend could be but maybe the more common one is like situation a you tell your friend about your achievements that you're really excited for you know you got that promotion or you got that cool project or you got that cool gig or something like that and you go to your friend or this person and you tell them like oh look what i did like i, I achieved this and you expect them to be super happy for you or to you know really uh, talk to you about it but instead, they just like, oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, what I did was I got this and I got that. So you already see what I'm saying? Like these, peop um, these people kind of just take the achievement that you're so proud of, push it under the rug, and they just want to talk about themselves or talk about what they do. So to me, already, that's, that's a toxic person. Oh, uh, yeah, situation number two. You really trust this person and you confide in them and your dream about your dreams about your goals about your ambitions and what you want to achieve because you don't really have other people to talk to but you know you feel that this person you can uh talk to about it and you kind of expect them to you know obviously it, it, they won't always be like oh yeah you can totally do that but you still expect them to um give you either good advice or to believe in you but yet when you go to this toxic friend one they kind of don't believe in you they don't believe in your dreams they don't believe in what you're doing and they kind of even worse they kind of put you down and say that oh yeah that's cool but you can't do it you will never be able to do it that's not something you can achieve and i think that's what really differentiates of toxic friend from like a realistic friend because a realistic friend can maybe say like oh that could be hard to do but if you can try this and that and that I, I believe you could achieve it one day whereas a toxic friend will be like yeah that's amazing but you could never do it without offering any constructive advice or even giving really reasons but instead they're kind of just attacking you as a person and saying that you as you are are not able to achieve it and oh my god these type of people piss me off so much <laughs> piss me off so much because this is the type of toxic person that has been in my life and yeah it's it really can bring you down and we're and as member like I said here we're all about leveling up but if you can't even go to somebody you trust or you thought you can trust tell them your dreams and not even get constructive criticism and instead only get negative negative comments you're never gonna level up you're never gonna feel that you are able to level up or that you deserve the opportunity to even try to level up so especially if you've had this type of person please comment down below and let me know uh what you did or what type of situation it was because i'm very curious to hear what type of situation people have been in um but yeah that was the type of, that was the type of toxic figure i had in my life where they were always just putting me down 
or saying that I can never achieve anything, I can never be anything uh, because of who I am as a person. Obviously, I, I turned out alright. Another major situation where you can see a toxic friend is the one where you get a great opportunity and they just try to take it for themselves or even worse. You know, there is a general opportunity and they know about it and they know that you would love to have the opportunity as well. Like you have been talking about how if you can just get that type of opportunity, maybe it's either a part-time job or it's a promotion at the office or it's um, a chance to go uh, sing at a contest and you didn't see the flyer, but they saw it. And they don't tell you about the opportunity. They just take it for themselves. These type of people are really toxic. Like, oh, it just, oh, it just pisses me off so much because it's so rude. Like, how could you do that to somebody? How can these are just to me the absolute worst type of people because they literally know you want the opportunity or that opportunity could really change your life that situation that if you get out of it or if you get that part-time job that promotion um the chance to sing at that um, competition it could really change your life but they don't tell you about it oh those people are not good not good at all and to me that's the ultimate toxic friend that's the ultimate because they don't have your best interest at heart they do not care about you they pretend they care about you but do they not care about you so yeah <laughs> as you can tell i'm really passionate about this but whew, i'll try to contain myself so what's all in common about these scenarios is that these people are holding you back from truly achieving what you could achieve they're holding you back from your full potential and that's why they're toxic friends so now I want to go into what you can do about them and how you can handle the situation with toxic friends. I know it's really hard to think of, okay, how can, you know, maybe you're telling me that these people are toxic, but they're the people I've known my whole life, or they're the only ones that, you know, hang out with me or talk to me at work, or at least kind of have my back. I, don't, I can't just leave them. I can't just, you know, get rid of them. And I just want to say that Sometimes in life you do have to make hard decisions, but you also have to know who really has your back and who does not and It's better to walk alone in a path towards your future than to walk a You know thorny zigzaggy all wrong path with somebody who think has your back like you just gotta think what's better for yourself so it may be i know it can be difficult to cut these people out but at the end of the day so much better off without them so in terms of how you can you know to, to cut these people out of your life i would say there's main, mainly two ways the first way is like cold turkey you know you don't reply to a text anymore you don't talk to them um when you see them at the party anymore it could be a bit hard if you work together if they're like your co-workers or things like that because you do have to remain professional you can never just be rude to somebody i never want to suggest being rude to somebody uh but you if if it is at a work situation you can just be like oh kind of uh, I, I don't want to say avoiding them, but just staying clear of their path. Uh, making sure that if you do have lunch, you know, it's away from the usual area they'll go to or things like that. The second way, which I prefer more, which I think is better, is to slowly wean off of them. So this means that you are slower to reply to their texts. Uh, you don't, you know, hang out as soon as they demand you to come and hang out. You're, instead, you're like, no, I'm busy. I have my own plans. I have my own thing to do I can't hang out or things like that um, another good way is to keep yourself busy and make new friends like go out there and try to talk to new people try to meet new people so that I think the reason why a lot of individuals have trouble getting away from their toxic friends or the people in their lives is because that's all they know that's what they know and if that is the case of course it'll be hard because you don't want to be alone you don't want to feel like you have nobody in your corner so what I highly suggest is while you're trying to slowly wean yourself off that toxic person, you are actively um, making your social circle bigger, you're talking to new people, you're making more acquaintances, you're doing new stuff on your own, like you're happy to be on your own. I think maybe I'll make a video on how to be happy on your own or alone or things like that because it's fun, it's, 
it, it's not bad at all to do stuff by yourself, have lunch by yourself. That's not a bad thing. Nobody would be like, oh, what are you doing by yourself? Sometimes you just gotta do that while you're weaning yourself off the negative people in yourself. And then you'll notice usually that as as months as the months go by, even those types of people will start to not care as much. They'll be like, ah, you know, I don't want to talk to that person because they never reply to my text for like two, three days, or they never want to hang out anymore. I don't want to talk to them because usually for toxic people they want that attention they want to know they have like you they have you always they know that you're at you're at their beck and call so once you don't follow that pattern of what to expect they will probably look for somebody else that they can kind of control or yeah kind of take control over uh, so definitely try to wean yourself off yeah overall i would say that know your self-worth know that you are a valuable human being your dreams your opinion your thoughts and ideas are valuable and they should be heard if the person or the people around you do not want to believe in you do not want to support you do not want to encourage you and give you constructive criticism i'm not saying find yes men but i'm saying they're not going to be there to support you it could be time to wean yourself off so <laughs> so that's another video yeah it's a wrap it's your girl mary here from japan thank you again for watching another one of my videos as always if you like this hit that like button uh comment below what type of toxic friends you've had and how you're going to get out of the situation or if this video really helped you to kind of realize oh this person may be a bit of a toxic friend in my life and definitely subscribe and hit the notification button if you have not. Uh, to, it lets you know when I post and when new videos are up. Otherwise, you may not even know for like months and months and then you'll never get to see my pretty face. <laughs> and then finally, share the video if possible so you can get the message out there that in 2019, no more toxic friends. It's your girl Mary from Japan. Have a lovely day. Bye.